Hey everybody, it's Constance with Charming Custom Crafts, and if you're following me on Facebook, then you know what I'm about to show you. I did not one, but two twin minis, and I kind of shocked myself. One is for my father-in-law, my husband's dad, and one is for my mom's boyfriend. Um, my dad's been go uh, gone 17 years ago, February, so I wanted to do something for him. His 70th birthday was in February, and my... That's my mom's boyfriend, George. And then my father-in-law's birthday is next month, and I believe he'll be 66. So I wanted to do something. I'm trying to play catch-up, so hopefully you guys will start seeing me do more. But for two days, yesterday and today, I've been working on these little minis. And if you're watching, hopefully I'll have the pictorial on after this. But anyway, I want to show these because I want to do the, I hope if my fingers, if everything works, I will have the, uh, the pictorial immediately after this video. I'm going to try some new things. Um, so here is for my father-in-law, and if you look, I peppered the hair because he has white and gray and black hair, and I gave him bushy eyebrows, and if you look really close, I don't know if it'll show it, um, it's not, pictures will show it better, oh there it is, you can see the little hair standing up out of his ears and out of his eyebrows, and um, I used several shades in his shirt to give more depth and in his pants. My father-in-law is colorblind so he can see blue and black um, and his name is Glenn so I used the banner and this was you have to see my um, video or my tutorial it'll show it all um, or pictorial that I hope I will be able to load in a slideshow for you um, but and then this is my mom's boyfriend George and one, this one's Greeting Farms, and I think that one's CC. This one was in a swap. This one I just got from Greeting Farm uh, like a week or so ago. So I finally, I actually bought it because of my mom's boyfriend and to do some Father's Day cards. Um, but I want to go through this somewhat fairly quickly. Um, the reason why I chose this paper is when I see that type of plaid, it reminds me of my dad's flannel shirts. Um, and my dad loved flannel shirts. And then if you see the blue, I went with the blue. So the plaid is for the flannel. For flannel shirts for the daddios, and the blue is for blue jeans, and then uh, I use the white ink around the edges uh, to be like faded jeans, because my dad would wear his jeans out, or he'd be painting, and he always had white paint on some of his jeans. Uh, and then you'll see that I did go back over with a little black, because they always got dirty, either muddy, or the greasy. And I know that uh, Glenn, he is a tool man, and he gets greasy. And then George, he is a farmer guy, and he gets dirty. My mom's always complaining he's tracking in dirt, and, and, and Glenn is always tracking in grease. So these guys are tools of trades within their own nature. So what I did is I ended up using this banner, and I took those little cheapy stamps, and I wanted to do these minis to show you that even with some of the very basics, with some extra little pieces, that you can make very simple, elegant, but masculine albums uh, without going overboard. This is the most you're going to see on images because it is for a guy. You're talking a 66-year-old man and a 70-year-old man. Something very simple they can do. Now, if you can see, I just did the banner and used the cheap little 99 cent stamps. And I did their names to personalize them. And I also put a charm on the side. And I was asking some people and they thought it was for um, time flies. Actually, I was thinking father time. Um, and so I really like that. I'm going to get to the gym here in a minute. But if you look at the side, I actually laced up the side with shoelace. Um, so now you've got the shirt, the pants, and the shoelaces. And if you look really close, and you're going to see them better on some of them. I don't know if you can see it better on, look, so you can see the footprint stamp. And I, I stamped my hand to show you. You're going to see this all over the album, but one track's in grease, one track's in um, mud. So I actually bought the stamp to do uh, military albums and stuff. But anyway... Um, so it's father time and they've got stamps all over. Now what I did is took these little gems that I got in a swap from, um, I guess I got it at Michael's and I put a really thick chunk of hot glue in the middle and I made sure it wasn't all the way down so that I had a lift. It's just a, a relief of a little bit here. And then on the back I did, I just love this stamp. Isn't it cute? Love it. Anyway, I got this stamp here and it says, um, made just for you because you're priceless and love it. And I did the same thing, but I flattened it. But what I did is I had gotten this anklet. I don't know if you guys can see. I got this anklet that was customized, and it is gold from Christina. I paid for it. Yes, I did. It's a present for my husband. This is Mac Fry, Mike and Connie Fry. Anyway, anyway, I smashed it down. Uh, I took the ribbon off the box, 
then I cut it in half because I needed something and I didn't want to use ribbon because it is for a guy and I wanted to stick with the color thing so I smashed it down in there so it's on there pretty flat on this side so it's real easy to untie and tie so you untie it and it comes out from underneath and it just pops loose I wanted it simple again it's for a guy and both of these are pretty much the same on the inside so I'm only going to show you one um, so if you open it it's pretty open fold open and uh, I have a frame here and I put some charms and I inked it with black and I inked it with white and this is a chipboard covered with paper from the die if you're watching the pictorial uh, you'll be able to see that um, so on the side here you'll see a paper swatch that went over the side uh, and it's in between the two slices of paper and I, I, I put the two slices of paper with um, taper on the sides and down the back here and again there's room for pa there's pictures room anytime you see like a piece of paper that's going across it's room for pictures and I use the buttons the buttons is also a metaphor it's a metaphor for your for the shirt so you see the plaid shirt with uh, with the buttons and also on some of the paper already has some distressness to some of the paper so I added to the distressness so you got the buttons and the shirt and the pants and the shoes and again I made this very simple this is actually cut out you'll see these cut out and I didn't want to throw it away but I did some pop tots on the back of it if you guys can see so that the guys since they're very simple they can do a basic cut on a picture and just toss it down in it and then I'm gonna go through and flip it through all of them it says face it friend uh, face it friends and family are your whole life put some glasses they both wear glasses put a couple buttons on this one you can still see the boot mark traps um, and then you flip it over, and I'll get to the pockets here. And then there's more room to slide pictures in with some buttons. And then I put a stamp here, and again, it's on the pictorial. Select all that apply, and they can check it. And I put some keys throughout the album, and some more buttons. I just love, I tracked it all with um, boot marks. I love it. And then, uh, again, if you guys can see, I actually, these were from the inserts. I did not want to throw this extra paper away. It was too good to use for a frame. This was actually an eagle on a glow. I used my uh, shank cutter and I popped that off and I popped all the charm tops off. And I hot glued and I did some glossy accents to give a better hold because hot glue will hold but not always but do a full hold so I did both. And then I did the buttons and it says one small, uh, one small fight can lead to a war but a small kiss can lead to peace. And then again... There's two slides for, um, and I didn't want to put another button down here because of the boot mark running over. Uh, and another pair of glasses here, and then a telephone because neither one of them likes cell phones, though they have them. Um, and then they can do a little journaling here. And I think I worked it out to where there's at least 26 or 28 places for 28 pictures. So just some pictures that they may have lying around. Now again, this is the back. And I did not go over the edges with paper. I just went ahead and I inked it really heavy so it would cover the chipboard. And that chipboard is the back off of a cereal box. So if you go through, and there's six internal pages. So if you really look at it, there's actually eight pages if you consider front and back flap. Um, I, there are flaps, or there's pocket in between. If I can pull it out here. Okay, not all. I'm, I'm hopefully I get them all out. And... I used a tab, um, one of the, um, I got it in the pictorial so you'll see it. And I did the front and back, uh, one of them's going to be solid, one of them will be plaid, and I put buttons and I put little things here and there, like that one's got a key. Um, this one has buttons, now, you don't want to put too much, and this one has a little doggy, they both, one has a dog, one don't, but he loved my dog and his other son's dog, so, so he has a little bit of doggies. And then, again, there should be... Should be, and I cut these a little bit smaller than the inside is what I did, and I used the die to edge it around it. And this one says, "Happy birthday! It's fun to grow up because TV and cookies stop being bad for you." And then the button, they're just slightly different on location of where these things are. They're like I said, they're basically exactly the same, except things are moved around a little bit different. Like this one, they have room on the solid side to write, and then on this side, there's a, I left one in each one blank with no um, buttons or anything on it um, but they almost look like little clipboards I kinda like that very masculine and that one says love it was a slider and then I got one more here and like I said they're all basically the same but slightly different this one's got some, uh, glasses on it and then 
the other phrase I use is when life throws you a curveball swing, and they both like baseball. So, again, um, they're basically the the same thing, but the the phrases are moved around a little bit. And I did make sure that that um, both journaling spots, one's on this side, one's on the other side, on the other book. Uh, but they're mixed and matched matched around. So. I'm going to be getting this one out, uh, both of them out tomorrow, but really this is like a youthful look of my father-in-law. He really does have pepper hair, and I should really teach how to do the pepper hair. Uh, if you guys like it, I could teach another method. I know I taught one, but if you guys want to learn how to do that, I'll show you. Uh, just message me below, but I hope you like this. I tried to shade it like it was a dirty shirt, and I used the blue and um, liquid pearls and glossy accents. Both the onyx and the sapphire, and then the glossy accents, and I used, oh, kitty, and then I used um, white diamond dust um, um, glitter glue. Um, so there you guys go. I really hope you like it. Enjoy the slideshow. If you want to follow me, come on over to my Facebook page. Would love to have you. So with the rest of the girls, this is one close, and that one I just showed you. And like I said, I went with more of the flannel for George because he is more of a flannel guy. And my father-in-law does have flannel but doesn't really wear it. And I gave him more of the basketball simple look he is. Though he's a shirt and tie man too. Um, but there you guys go. There are the two twin minis. Thanks guys. Bye.